Charlotte Bobcats, when you played there, uh, they weren't the most popular franchise in the NBA. However, it is still NBA. So what, what was it like playing for them in terms of uh, attention, pressure and uh, things like that? I mean, when you get drafted, you don't get a choice where to go. And I think Charlotte is a, an amazing city. Uh, the organization was great. You know, they were kind of rebuilding uh, when I got there and we had a bunch of young guys, you know, just trying to find our way. So, uh, I mean, it was a great experience for me, you know. I got hurt, you know, some unfortunate things happened when I was there, but I love the city and the organization is great. Uh, maybe you had some encounters with Michael Jordan, who was yeah. owner? Mm -hmm. I guess it would really be stuck in your mind for the rest of your life. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, I mean, the first time I met him, it, you know, it felt like, you're, you know, you were meeting like uh, somebody that wasn't human. You know, he's, uh, you know, such an icon. You know, it was, a, it was a big thing. You know, I met him in the practice gym the first time, and it was amazing to you know go shake his hand. Everything he's done in basketball. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it a great, great feeling to get to meet him. Did he, did he give you some advice? On your yeah, day? I talked to him. You know, I talked to him a lot of times. You know, about you know just basketball, and he'd always come to the locker room after games and stuff. So you, if you play for the Hornets when he was the owner, you met him all the time. Um, you're a player who doesn't switch between teams uh, very often. Of course, who wouldn't like to, to play for Real Madrid? Um, so long-term commitment to Wolves seems to be an accomplishment for the organization as well. How did you make this choice and was it easy for you? I mean, for me, it was, uh, you know, it was an easy choice. I, I like the organization. I like their goals and, and their ambitions. Uh, obviously, here's a different role for me uh, than what I had in, in Real Madrid. So it's fun for me to, to get to play like this and play for an organiza organization like this and, you know, try to help them get where they want to go. You come from Sweden, even played in Eurobasket for them. How important is Swedish part of your identity? Um, it's a huge part. Um, you know, I was born there. I lived there for my first 17 years uh, before I moved to the U.S. So, you know, it's a, it's a big part of my story. It's a big part of who I am. and. You know, it's where I live now, it's where my, my kids are and my family, so for me it's a, it's a huge part of who I am. Okay, so one last thing. Um, one biggest wish um, for the rest of your career? Uh, I think a big wish is for, you know, any team that I'm on uh, to, to be successful. Uh, I'd like to keep on winning and, and be a part of winning basketball. I feel like that's what I've done, you know, throughout my career, wherever I've been. Uh, you know, we were able to win, so that's what I want. And, you know, just to be injury free, I'd say.